think it's really interesting. Uh, one, I um, <clears throat> this first clip is going to be Elon Musk. Let me switch back over to the research computer here. This first clip is going to be Elon Musk uh, talking about the dangers of uh, a one world government. And this is about a minute and 52 seconds. And I think it's incredibly vital that we listen to it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I think it is absolutely true. Uh, there is a push <clears throat> in our world right now. Let me switch back to this camera. There is a push in our world right now to, to make all governments work together cohesively as one world government. This is absolutely a horrific idea. It should not be this way. And even Elon Musk, and I don't agree with everything Elon Musk says, just to be blunt here. But this is extremely profound. It's extremely correct. It's extremely accurate. Here are the dangers of a one world government. And let's get into it right here. Let's pull Elon up. And here we go. One thing I should say, and I know this is called the World Government Summit, um, but um, I think we should be maybe a little bit concerned about uh, actually becoming too much of a single world government. Um, Absolutely. If, if I may say that we want to avoid creating a civilizational risk by having, um, frankly, this may sound a little odd, too much cooperation between governments. Yep. Um, you know, if you know, if you look at say the at history and the rise and fall of civilizations, um, the, the really all throughout history civilizations have risen and fallen, but it hasn't Correct. meant the doom of humanity as a whole because there've been there've been all these separate civilizations that were separated by great distances. And so, um, you know, say like while Rome was falling, it, uh, it you know, uh, Islam was rising, yeah. and uh, so you had like a uh, you know, the, the, the sort of caliphate do, doing incredibly well while Rome was doing terribly. Um, and that actually ended up being a source of preservation of knowledge uh, and, and, uh, and many uh, scientific advancements. And so, um, so I think we want to be a little bit cautious about uh, being too much of a, world, of a single uh, civilization because if we are too much of a single civilization, then if, if if, we, if the whole the whole thing may collapse, um, correct. I'm not, obviously not suggesting war or anything like that, but I think we want to be a little bit wary of actually cooperating too much. It sounds a little odd, but um, but we, we just we, we want to have some amount of civilizational diversity, such that if uh, if something does go wrong with some part of civilization, that the whole thing doesn't collapse uh, and 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 you know humanity keeps moving forward. I agree completely. I agree completely with that. I, I think I think that that's actually very sound um, insight. I think that's very sound judgment. Uh, I, I think that um, one America is supposed to be a Christian nation. I know a lot of people. Ah, you can't say that. Yes, I can. Uh, there would be no America without God. The end. Um, and I don't particularly think. Do I think that there should be? You know. Uh, Synergy between governments to where governments can work together. Sure. But each government needs to maintain their own value sets and principles, uh, especially in a democratic republic or a, that, that is um, America, where the people dictate how the government is supposed to go. Now, I know that's kind of laughable in our current state. I know that a lot of people are like, yeah, that's not what's happening. Um, and, and you're not 100% wrong there. But the, but, but the, the, the point still remains the same that that's what's supposed to happen. Anyway, okay, so I agree. All right, but I just thought that that was very interesting to hear.